Happy Tuesday, everyone. Hope everyone enjoyed their Labor Day weekend. If you had to work over Labor Day weekend or on Labor Day, we're sorry. We think you should have had the day off too. Today is September 6, 2016, and this is your Freeport Minute. Benchwarmers in the Cove and Apple Canyon Lake will be closed today. Both locations are installing a new draft system within their bar area. Benchwarmers will open again on Wednesday, while the Cove will reopen on Thursday. The Northwest Illinois Autobahn Society will hold their monthly meeting, the Puffin Project, tonight in Freeport. The public is invited to the monthly meeting of the Society. The program for the evening will be about the Puffin Project at Hog Island in Maine. The meetings are held at 6 o'clock p.m. at St. John United Church of Christ, 1010 Park Boulevard in Freeport. Today's weather, chance of thunderstorm today. It's actually going to be mostly sunny with isolated showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. High today in the upper 80s, south wind 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain today is 20%. Heat index readings to 98 degrees. So a very, very hot day today. Tonight, partly cloudy in the evening and then becoming mostly cloudy. A 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the evening, low in the lower 70s. Winds tonight out of the south, 10 to 15 miles per hour. In sports, the Freeport Pretzel Girls golf team plays at Park Hills at 4 o'clock today. Girls tennis play at 4.30 at the FHS courts by the junior high. And then at 5.30, the boys' JV soccer team plays with the varsity soccer team playing at 6.30. Also today from 4 o'clock until 6 o'clock tonight, the Freeport Housing Authority is offering professional filming of your business idea to submit to the Freeport fish tank competition. If you are still in need of a video recording for your business idea, call 815-232-4171 or stop by the Maine Housing Authority office in Freeport. And finally, for a little bit of odd news, city officials in Washington, D.C. issued a notice of violation to two-year-old Harper Westover on Thursday. A city worker had found unopened envelopes with Harper's name on them as well as Harper's mom's name in an alley. The inspector refused to rescind Harper's ticket, and the case drew ridicule after Westover's husband posted about it online. A public works official stopped by the family's home Friday, just as the mom of the two-year-old Harper was about to do a TV interview. The public works official said he would drop both the tickets. This has been your Freeport Minute, brought to you by The Vapor Company. Ditch the paper, switch to vapor. Stay tuned throughout the day for more updates. <music>